Hiya. <coughs> Sorry. Just going to have a quick walkthrough of how to set up our GitHub repository, how to create a Heroku pipeline with a staging application and a production application. And this is for our continuous integration, continuous deployment workflow for this hackathon. So <coughs> here we are starting off in GitHub. I will create a new repository. I will use the code Institute template. I will give it a name of, oh, I don't know, uh, let's call it a Pipeline of Love, since this is obviously uh, for this hackathon. So, Pipeline of Love, um, CI, CD, Work. video. So we have our name, <coughs> our repository, description, public, create repository. And while that is working away, we just give it a sec. So there we go. We have our main branch. We can create a whole bunch of other branches if we want to, but this is good. Now let's go to Heroku and you have my login. And it wants me to verify, so I need to start my authentication application. Just give me a sec to do that. And it is that authenticator there. So four nine eight two five nine. Verify. Okay. So now logged in. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by creating a pipeline. We have under new here, I can either create an app or a pipeline. Now, why am I creating a pipeline? Well, I'm creating a pipeline because I want to make sure that we separate the, the application that we have or do our testing in. So when we code locally, we test the code that we've done. We merge that with the main branch that includes all other codes from the rest of the team. That's pushed to Heroku so we can test all our code together with everybody else's code and make sure that it's actually working. And then when we're happy with that, we can promote that to production. So I'll show you how to do that. We will create a pipeline. I will call it uh, the pipeline of love. Okay, and that's okay. Uh, I have to search on repository. Uh, so pipeline search. I want to link it to that one there. Connect. And I want to create my pipeline. So review apps, we don't need to do that. That's uh, if you create, when you create pull requests, you can have those pull requests deploy applications to Heroku to test before you then um, merge that with the main branch that pushes to staging. But ignore that for the time being. We want uh, everything else. Perfect. Create pipeline. And here we have review apps. We're not going to enable that at the moment, but that is, in other words, if you're working as a team and you are creating a pull request, once you've created your code, you've tested locally, you're happy, but this gives you the opportunity to test your application on Heroku in a separate application before um, accepting the pull request that merges your code, your branch with the main branch that is then deployed to staging. But we're just going to focus on staging and production. So let's start it with the staging application. I want to call it pipeline of love staging. So I know I create new app. I have that. I want mine in Europe because that's where I am. Pipeline stage, create application. And that is happening. Excellent. Now, what we can do then is go into our staging application. And at the moment, obviously, you know, there's, there's nothing there, but I want to go to deploy. And I want to see that I am connected to GitHub. That's good. To the main branch. And here I can decide if I want to, which I do, to enable automatic deploys. So I'll click on that. So whenever we update our main branch by merging what we've done in the development branch, 
those changes will automatically uh, automatically de be deployed to the stage application. The other thing I'd like to do is just to highlight, obviously, access. You need to give your team members access to this, add collaborators, uh, their email addresses. So add collaborator and then add the email address there so they can access it. The other thing then is settings. We need to set the environment variables for both the staging application and for production. Now, obviously, you decide which ones you need. But let's say I have secret key. I have a bunch of blah, blah, blah. Oops. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Sorry, let's go back there. And so a bunch of stuff. Add, okay. And then I want to go back to the pipeline of love. And I want to create the production application. Add application, and I want to call this one pipeline of love, just the way it is. Create an application. Again, I want mine deployed in Europe. I want to create the application. And this one, let's go into that. I do not want to deploy automatically. So just make sure that there's nothing there. That's good. Uh, because I want to do a manual access. I want to do uh, a manual deployment. Here, again, add your collaborator, collaborators, your team. And then go to settings. Again, add your environment variables that you need. So secret key, whatever it is, whatever you want it to be. There we go. And then we go back to the pipeline. And what we can do is once we've deployed our application to staging and it works, we can click promote production. We do that step manually. So in other words, we only promote production when we know that our staging application is working as planned. So this way you're separating. So if something happens to the staging application, no worries. You can fix them before you promote into production. So you always know you have a working application. So this is just a simple way of creating a good workflow where we have our GitHub repository with a main branch. And then on Heroku, we created a pipeline, a pipeline of love. <laughs> you call it whatever you want. And we have two applications. One is staging and the other is a production. And the staging application, again, just to reiterate, we have automatic deployment from, Git, from a GitHub repository. The main branch uh, there. And we also have whatever we have to remember to update the configuration variables. So whatever they are, whatever they are locally, we need to add them here. And we also need to add them to the production environment. So we click on that. We go to settings. And again, make sure that we add the relevant environment variables. But also, again, access to your collaborators. We do not want to deploy anything to the production. We want to make sure that we do a manual um, promotion, which is clicking on that to so I can click on that there and I want to promote it. Now there's nothing there because obviously there's no um, no information. So we need obviously for Heroku, we need requirements of text. We need our proc file, uh, ideally uh, our, a dot slug ignore as well. But this is just showing you how to set up your pipeline. The rest you should be comfortable doing. And essentially, this should be it. Okay. So I'll leave you some lovers with that. And have a happy hackathon.